I'm Ryan Warby from uh, Epson and here we're looking at the uh, Epson Shorecolor S8600 uh, Eco Solvent Printer. Uh, this is our second generation uh, uh, machine. Uh, the particular one you're looking at is a, uh, a 10 color printer. Uh, this machine is a, uh, a Pantone approved printer uh, where we can, uh, we can achieve the, uh, that, that, that approval by uh, adding some additional uh, colors to our ink set to allow for a much wider color gamut. So not only do we have the, the standard um, CMYK uh, inks in this machine, we also have the addition of orange and red, and we also have uh, light cyan, light magenta and light black to give us those uh, gradients and skin tones. Um, Basically, when you look at this machine, what you see is, uh, is what you get from a, from a product point of view. Um, we have a motorised uh, feed unit at the back, can take up to 45 kilos and, uh, and a motorised uh, take up at the front of the machine. Um, as you can see, it's also got a very large, uh, large heater unit on that, uh, purely because of the speed that this machine can achieve. Um, this, this, this machine itself actually has uh, dual print heads. All, all 10 colours actually go through the, uh, the, the, the two individual print heads, so we do have some redundancy on the machine. Uh, in addition to the, uh, the, the normal CMYK uh, ink set with the uh, light zone, light magenta, light black, orange and red, uh, we also have a tenth channel in this machine where we can actually insert either a metallic ink a, uh, or a white ink. Um, and the customer also has the option not to put that in at all and just have a cleaning cartridge in the machine. So not only can we do obviously those uh, out of gamut or those very wide colour range, we can also do some very niche work when we use the metallic or the white ink. So for instance, we can put in a, a white or sorry or, or a clear a clear film, and we can uh, we can either print double sided or we can print uh, print one sided or and we can all that in one pass as well. It doesn't have to go backwards and forwards um, through the machine. Uh, being our second generation uh, eco solvent, we've actually done a few in improvements to our uh, previous models, uh, which uh, improve reliability and also to um, uh, print quality. Okay. Um, in addition to the, the upgrades in the, the machine itself, uh, we also offer a, um, a five-year full cover plus uh, on the machine. Basically covers all parts and labour on the machine uh, up, uh, up to five years. Uh, there is no additional costs involved during that period. You don't need to, 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 to pay for anybody to come out and have a look at the machine. It's, it's fully covered during that period. Uh, not only do others cover all the, the, the parts and labour in that uh, cover plus, we also cover um, uh, all the end of life components as well. So if you're a high PV, high print volume site, uh, you also have all those uh, all those things covered as well. So there's no, again, no additional costs uh, when you uh, when you got the machine in the production environment. Um, talking a little bit more about the uh, about the ink set uh, with the, the new generation through new generation of inks, uh, they are very a very fast drying ink. Okay, so traditionally in an eco solvent, you know, you do have to have to give it quite a while to, to cure an outgas. Where we've uh, where we've actually brought that that period of time right down to um, to in some on some instances on some media's down to an hour. So uh, so that old old adage of having them hanging up for days is uh, is no longer applies. Okay, so now we're looking at the options. Short colour S6600. Um, I won't go into too much uh, too detail with this one with the 86, but the main the main difference between the uh, between the 8600 and the 6600 is the ink set. Whereas the other machine is a 10 colour, this is a dual CMYK printer. So um, so with with the other one, how you've got that wider colour gamut. This still has a very very good colour gamut with just the, the CMYK, but the, uh, the this uh, this this ink configuration will allow for a more of a production environment, a little bit more economical to run. All the other same um, same features apply when it comes to the the, 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 the maintenance and the and the, the reliability of the machine. Okay. Okay. So now now we've come across. Uh, we've just had a look at our, uh, our S series range of printers. Uh, these this here is our F series uh, printer. Uh, like the S series, we have a few printers in the range. Uh, this is the F ninety two hundred. So F for fabric. So this is a dye sublimation machine. So what this uh, what this printer actually does uh, for, from a for, from a dye sublimation point of view, it, it prints a it prints a pigment to a to a paper. Uh, that 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 uh, that is then uh, here's a here's a little example just here. So it prints onto this paper, which looks fairly fairly dull but then we use um, then we use some uh, heat and pressure through a heat press which allows us then to to sublimate if you like that print onto a uh, onto a fabric okay uh, that, that goes onto uh, the polyester fabric but not only do we uh, are we able to do um, what, what we what we call fabrics or, or flexible substrates we also have rigid substrate applications where we can do um, 
photos uh, onto onto rigid like this is a, this is a Chromalux product, but you can also do other smaller items like tags and um, and so forth on the on the sublimation machine. Um, specific to this uh, this 9200, this is uh, this is a dual head machine. So as you can see at the front, there is two sets of CMYK. So uh, it also has the dual uh, dual print heads in it as well. So this is a this is a production um, die sublimation printer. Very much similar to uh, what we were talking about on the uh, on the S series when it comes to the to the low maintenance. So very, it all applies to with the uh, with our fabric range of printers. So there are certain features inside the machine which which is allows for, for, for fast, consistent and accurate printing. Um, this comes not only from the ink set but also too from the uh, from the paper path and the motorized uh, feed and take up unit which comes included with the machine. So one one key point when you're doing um, bulk fabric is you need to be able to take it from from this unit and put it into what uh, what we call a calendaring unit or a, a transfer unit. So that, that paper needs to be wound consistently at, a, at, a, at, an, at an even pressure but also nice and square and straight. And so when this the, the paper comes off this machine, it then gets transferred to the to the calendaring unit. Uh, very similar um, conditions when it comes to the, the support and warranty on these machines. Uh, just, just recently we have upgraded to the, the availability of a five year cover plus on these machines as well with the same detail that we found on the S series range where we will actually cover all the parts and labour for that full term. Part of our, uh, our fabric range here at Epson also not only includes dye sublimation, uh, this is our uh, DTG unit or direct to garment printer. As you can see it's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically a basically t-shirt printer. So uh, at the moment, we're uh, we're printing onto a, a black shirt. Okay, so what what we've done is we've actually already pre-treated this shirt, ready for uh, for printing. It goes through, and the machine will actually print white ink down first, and come through, and then print the colour on on top of that. Uh, this this is this is a great machine if you're uh, if you've got an apparel business, or you're looking for a, even a small or a large business looking to do direct to garment printing or t-shirt printing. Very similar to uh, the likes of the S series and the F series uh, sublimation machine. The the, the, the DTG machine is. Uh, as, as the same cover plus options up to three years and uh, this also covers again all, all those parts and labor is all included in our uh, in our cover plus uh, this this machine is a uh, is, is set up as a, as a five color you got so you've got the CMYK uh, for doing the color and then it's got the white in there for uh, for doing the printing as well so once this is uh, once this is printed off the machine we then take it from the uh, from the printer and we put it into a, a heat press to uh, to cure it um, and a, a great advantage though, with this machine is we've actually got our own um, uh, driver software or RIP software over there, which is a, a, which you can import your your images into. You can set the uh, your, your your settings, your densities of your inks, and all so forth, and then it'll it'll send it down uh, down to the machine. And that's it's actually as a as an Epson product, so it uh, it works very well with the uh, with the DTG printer. Okay. In addition to the um, again, very similar to our. Uh, is, is in terms of reliability for uh, for DTG products. So we uh, inherently DTG has been a uh, let's face it a fairly um, a fairly difficult process to uh, to achieve because of the type of ink, because of the viscosity of the ink, um, it has a tendency to block print heads and so forth. So our uh, our technicians has developed an ink specifically designed an Epson ink for for an Epson print head, and there are components inside the machine which which self maintain to keep the print head uh, uh, spick and span. So for, from a reliability point of view. So, in in addition to uh, we've just had a look at the uh, the F9200, which is our, uh, our 64 inch wide die sublimation machine. This is our F6200. Okay, it's our uh, 44 inch wide die sublimation printer. So this is for 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 those sort of companies who don't need that width, who can do the smaller runs. Uh, it's still a production machine, so you can still do quite a lot of printing with. Machine, as you can see on the side there, it runs the um, it runs our Epson uh, uh, bulk ink system, sublimation system. But uh, but for this application, if you're doing a lot of rigid substrates, or if you're doing a lot of those other things I was showing with those smaller items, this uh, this this machine is, uh, is is probably more more applicable to those applications. I'm Bruce Williams from Epson Australia, and I'd like to introduce you to our flagship printer, the Shore Color P9070. So this product here actually stems from our our uh, innovations over the years with inkjet technology. What we're looking at here is a 10 color 11 cartridge printer. This is this will give you the biggest color gamut possible of any inkjet on the market. It comes in a range of sizes, comes in a 17, a 24 and a 44 inch. With the 10 color unit, it gives you the ability with the 11th cartridge to print onto matte papers, art papers, canvases, photo stock, 
all range of medias. On top of that, this unit here is designed specifically for proofing with the new violet ink, which will give you a 99% Pantone coverage. So this is really the best quality that you can achieve on an aqueous basing jet printer. I'm for Epson Australia, and I work with the Epson T-Series. Uh, T for technical, is designed for the architects, engineers, construction for the uh, printing of plans, drawings, maps, and that type of stuff. But it's also very, very good at doing presentation type stuff like this. Um, we do have very, very good photo printers, but this, uh, this machine, the T-Series, does a good job on that as well. Uh, the machine itself can be in single or dual roll. Uh, There's a dual roll machine here, so up here we have roll number one, and down here we have roll number two. Uh, they can be different media sizes, they can be different media types, and the system's smart enough to uh, choose the, the right roll depending on what media size or what media width that you need. Uh, the machine can print on a variety of papers from plain 80 gram bond through to photographic type material. Uh, it can also print on rigid board. So you can do uh, instant signage and posters. An option on the uh, 36 and 44 inch machines is a scanner. So here we have a 36 inch wide scanner. Uh, for the, the copying of plans, drawings, maps, uh, for scanning the file of hard copy originals that are bigger than A3. Um, the machine is available in 24, 36 and 44 inch models and single and dual rollers available on the 36 and the 44 inch machines. Additional options you can get with the machine is an internal postscript uh, processor uh, and an internal hard disk drive for buffering and for automatic reprinting of jobs when required. And that's the T-Series in a nutshell. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Terry Crawford. I'm a business development manager for professional print solutions. I look after the uh, label solutions for Epson. Uh, today at Pack Print, we are demonstrating the Australian New Zealand launch of the Epson Shore Press L6034 VW Press. That's a UV inkjet press, and it uses Epson's latest precision core inline head technology. The press is designed and manufactured all by Epson. Inkset features CMYK white and digital varnish. Prints on a variable web width between 100 mils and 340 mil. No pre-treating or priming is required on the materials. They can print on uncoated, coated papers. PPs, PETs, PEs, uh, to name a few of the substrates. Standard features include corona treating, uh, UV LED pinning curing technology, and an additional UV curing lamp at the end of the press. It's capable of producing 15 lineal meters per minute, and that includes CMYK white and digital varnish. The unique feature of the Shore Press 6034 is the digital varnish. Using the one varnish cartridge, we can apply spot gloss, flood coat gloss, or matte varnish to give different finishing uh, embellishments of the label. Peter Collins from Epson Australia. I'm the business manager for the business inkjet program in our document, document solutions business. So what I'd like to show you today is the uh, Epson Workforce Enterprise 20 50, uh, 5090. So this is a full colour A3, A4 multifunction device that prints at 100 pages per minute and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's centred on uh, a fixed, fixed line head, um, single pass uh, inkjet printing. So all of the benefits of inkjet print are brought to bear with this technology, which is, the business, uh, which is really business inkjet of, of today for the office of today. So um, the device is uh, capable of doing 100 pages per minute. We'll actually just run, run a, a quick print sample now, and then I'll give you a quick overview of the product as we move through it. You can see here. So this is printing an A4 sheet, uh, single-sided. Uh, and it's printed on a normal, everyday bond paper. And what, we, uh, what we're seeing here is very vibrant colours, and solid blacks and, and crisp text. So it's able to print at 600 by 1200 DPI. So 
the device is actually um, centred around uh, four 550 sheet trays that take between 60 and 160 gram paper weights. It's also able to take 150 sheets of 350 gram paper through the bypass tray. The output tray allows 500 sheets. Uh, it's supported by a uh, LED screen, touch screen, uh, which gives you uh, full functionality and, and access to the functionality of the device. A duplexing document feeder with 150 sheets and uh, it has an integrated finisher that uh, is able to handle up to 4,000 sheets uh, offset collated and uh, with a four, four position stapling. So really this, this product is um, business inkjet of the future, uh, ease of use, throughput capability and output quality. Thank you.